it's me, Will Jack Games, yeah. And today we're doing another video on Uncharted the Monks. I feel like I've done this a hundred times. <laughs> so let's just get started. I'm going to create a new game because this is like the third time I've tried to do this. Yes, easy. I'm sorry if I sound annoyed, guys. If you can see, I've done one, two, and this is my third time doing this. <laughs> Which is annoying. I'm going to pause this. I know what's going to happen. So I'm going to go and skip this whole movie part. <laughs> so we need to move this way. Okay. Move Drake. Oh gosh. <laughs> okay, keep climbing. Don't stop. Why? What I don't understand is why. Okay, so I've done this like three times now, and he. The reason why we're here, I think. I don't know. I don't even know why we're even here. Right, we're just gonna jump right in. Oh. I don't know why, why are you, are you dude, why are you even a train in some sort of place called the Appalachian? Especially in these games, after like, after like doing the same thing over and over about 16 different times. Oh crap. Just, just keep going. Keep a climbing, keep a climbing, keep a climbing. Don't fail. Crap, 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 crap. I would just get out of here. I don't like this. No. Run, 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 run. Whoa. Okay, just keep climbing. Just keep climbing. <laughs> Okay, guys, I have no. Uh, what just happened? That's the wrong way to start the game. And we're back into some sort of very safe. Buy me a drink, sir. Oh! Harry Flynn? Hey! What the hell are you doing here? I'm oh, for you, also, watch uh, the minor language slide in here. It's actually got. Really bad, like guys. <laughs> this is when stuff doesn't I've got a job for us. Really? A really? client is willing to part with a huge sum of cash if we acquire a certain object for him. I don't listen. It. Wow. Now, you're not gonna like this. Oh no. No, you're out of your mind. Yeah, you just, just hear me out. Yes, I feel we both know two people who were killed trying to lift something out of this and place. One who made it out. Yeah, barely. Can't do this without you, Drake. You're the only one who's cracked here, and you're not better than anyone. It's a two-person job. No, no, no. Three, actually. Right. Speak of the devil, here she comes down. Oh, great. What? Chloe, you face her. Chloe! Drake, Nathan. Drake. Yay! I remember her from, like, yeah, Uncharted 5. Chloe is one of the best drivers in the business. Because I heard, I She's watched the games. game ahead of time. 
I know what will happen. I've never played these. I've just seen gameplays for the last two games. Now we game. through the soup. Loving it so far. That puts us in the courtyard. From there, we scale up the wall, run across the rooftops, and just drop down into the exhibit hall. Bob's you up. And what is worth all this travel? I hear you ask. I didn't, but go ahead. But that's it. An oil lamp. Yeah. <laughs> it's worthless. I don't get it. Neither do we. That's why we tracked you down. Well, it sounds like you're working for a nutcase. Hmm. Some collector who's got too much time and money on his hands. And by the way, this is not worth any of it. But there's more. How's your 13th century Latin name? Right oh, great. Where'd you get this? Oh, <sighs> the files of the nutcase. Files from the nutcase. The Trebizond we were set upon by thieves. Father, Maffeo and I were robbed of our greatest treasures. This was written by Marco Palma. Yes, that much we were able to work out. Unfortunately, the rest of it is nonsense. Alan, so that it should not fall into the wrong hands, I concealed my great sorrow in the unlikeliest place. The light of the great Khan shelters the fate of the Thirteen. So I mean, it's just gibberish. He's talking about the Lost Fleet. Yeah. Oh, uh, someone want to fill me in? Marco Polo leaves China with 600 passengers and 14 ships loaded down with treasure from Kublai Khan. And he lands in Persia a year and a half later with only one ship left and only 18 passengers. Now, he recorded every detail of his journey, but he never told what happened to all those ships and the passengers. So, so somewhere out there, there were 13 ships loaded with the Empress treasure waiting to be found. Yeah, and that is what your client is after. Look at this lamp. It's covered in Mongolian script. It must have been a gift from Kublai Khan. The light of the great Khan shall so the fate of the 13. Marco Polo hid something inside this lamp. Something that pinpoints the sight of the lost fleet. So, we're digging this guy up, right? Damn straight. <laughs> <laughs> That's perfect. Everything. <laughs> oh, another white screen. Oh, back here. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh I love that. That is so cool. Oh, that's amazing how that they now you when you tread through the snow. Oh, I love this. How the game is actually how they work this thing out. The textures and everything. Beautiful. Wow. That's no joke. I really do love these textures. And how they're like it how like it's showing you treading through the snow. Treading through the snow. 